Hello and welcome to this quick tour on debugging orchestrations. The JD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator is a key component of your JD Edwards Digital Platform. The Enterprise One Orchestrator changes how you use your JD Edwards Enterprise One system. It can transform the Enterprise One system from a transaction-based system of records into an ERP that provides a dynamic reflection of your real-time business operations. An ERP that participates in your business. An ERP with a pulse. The orchestrator enables your Enterprise One system to integrate with other transformational technologies such as Internet of Things, cloud services, robotic process automation, mobile applications, chatbots, and alternative user interfaces. Using the orchestrator, you can significantly improve your operations through notifications with action links, simplified processes, automated system administration, scheduled processes, and no-code extensions. Some orchestrations might be simple, just even a single step. For these orchestrations, it is quite easy to pinpoint and correct any errors that might occur. Some orchestrations might be more complex, with many steps and many rules with true or false paths. In these cases, finding and fixing errors can be a bit more puzzling. For example, here is an orchestration with seven steps. Its job is to update the availability status of a piece of equipment. When we run this orchestration with SN70 as the device ID, and AA as the status, we can see there is a problem, but it is not obvious where the problem is. Beginning with JD Edwards Enterprise One Tools Release 9.2.4.3, a new tool, the Orchestration Debugger, is available to help you easily find and resolve issues with your orchestrations. When you click the debug button, you have access to a set of tools to help you find the issues in your orchestration. You can run the orchestration step by step to see which steps succeed and which fail. As you step through the orchestration, you can also see how the data is changing at each step and get visibility into how the orchestration is running. When we run this orchestration in the debugger, the red cross clearly shows which step is failing. By hovering over the step, we can see details such as the Enterprise One forms that the orchestration is calling and what input it expects. Now we can set a breakpoint on the step just before the error. The green check marks indicate that everything is good up to this point. The debugger even displays the variables at this point in the orchestration. Notice that the value of the input for status is AA. A business analyst might suspect that AA is not a valid status for equipment. The debugger allows you to change the value right here for a what-if scenario and continue stepping through the orchestration. For example, we will change the value to DN. With the new value for status, we have corrected the problem and the step now succeeds as indicated by the green check mark. We can continue to step through the orchestration until it completes successfully and a green check mark is displayed against each of the steps. The debugger shows the final output of the successful orchestration. Now that we know the problem was incorrect input, perhaps we can enhance the orchestrations that we might build later by checking for incorrect data and avoiding a similar error. From this brief demonstration, you could see how the debugger can help you easily identify and troubleshoot errors in an orchestration. You can set breakpoints and step through an orchestration, see the data at each step, and even change the data on the fly. With these simple yet powerful tools, you can now quickly debug orchestrations and discover how to build orchestrations that are even more resilient and fault tolerant. For more information on orchestrations, visit us at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.